The characters in the story Pandora's box are God Mercury, Epimetheus, and Pandora. Pandora's box is an artifact in Greek mythology. Pandora reported that curiosity led her to open a container left in care of her husband, thus releasing physical and emotional curses upon mankind. Pandora's box is based on Greek mythology and this Greek mythology is a large collection of stories started in ancient Greece about the beginning of the world and the lives and adventures of gods, goddesses, heroes and heroines. Let's start with the explanation of the lesson. When the world was created, at that time there was no unhappiness, illness or anger in the world. Every day the gods came down from heaven to walk and talk with the people who lived on the earth. There was a man called Epimetheus and his wife Pandora. They were standing outside the house taking care of the garden. They saw God Mercury coming towards them carrying a heavy wooden box on his shoulder. This box was too heavy that God Mercury had to bend down while walking. When Epimetheus saw God Mercury coming close, he helped him in keeping the wooden box down and Pandora went inside to bring cool drink. Now students, I am going to explain you the lesson Pandora's box. So listen carefully. When the world was created, at that time there was no unhappiness, illness or anger in the world. Every day gods came down from heaven to walk and talk with the people who lived on the earth. There was a man called Epimetheus and his wife Pandora. They were standing outside the house taking care of their garden. They saw God Mercury coming towards them carrying a heavy wooden box on his shoulder. This box was too heavy that God Mercury had to bend down while walking. When Epimetheus saw God Mercury coming close, he helped him in keeping the wooden box down and Pandora went inside to bring the cool drink. God Mercury asked the couple for a favor that can he keep this wooden box in their house? while he was going on a short journey. The couple did not deny it and God Mercury and Epimetheus kept the box indoor. God Mercury said to the couple that don't open the box in any circumstances. The couple said don't worry and they bid goodbye to God Mercury. Now after a while Pandora heard someone whispering their names. Epimetheus said that this is the voice of his friends coming from outside. He told his wife, let's go out and see who was calling. Pandora refused to go out and Epimetheus went out of the room to look who was calling. Pandora heard the voice again and the voice was so low that Pandora was confused that whether she heard the voice or it's her imagination. Then she heard the voice again and the voice said to set them free from darkness and to help them get rid of the dark box. God Mercury asked the couple for a favor that can he keep this wooden box in their house while he was going on a short journey. The couple did not deny it 
and God Mercury and Epimetheus kept the box indoors. God Mercury said to the couple that don't open the box in any circumstances. The couple said don't worry and they bid goodbye to God Mercury. Now after a while Pandora heard someone whispering their names. Epimetheus said that this is the voice of his friends coming from outside. He told his wife, let's go out and see who was calling. Pandora refused to go out and Epimetheus went out of the room to look who was calling. Pandora heard the voice again and the voice was so low that Pandora was confused that whether she heard the voice or it's her imagination. Then she heard the voice again and the voice said to set them free from darkness and to help them get rid of the dark box. Now Pandora remembered about God Mercury who said not to open the box. Again she heard the voice. The voices were so painful that she decided to open the box. She opened the golden knots first and then she opened the box. Now Pandora remembered about God Mercury who said not to open the box. Again she heard the voice. The voices were so painful that she decided to open the box. She opened the golden knots first and then she opened the box. As soon as she opened the lid, she realized that she had made a mistake. The box was full of evils. Thousands of tiny creatures stung people with their wings and caused pain and sorrow wherever they went. And all this happened because of Pandora. She began to cry, but it was too late. She closed the lid of the box. When Epimetheus heard his wife's cry, he ran back into the room. The little creatures bit him and speedily went out of the window into the world. Epimetheus shouted at Pandora for the first time and Pandora shouted back at him. They both realized for the first time that they were arguing. Again. A voice came from the box. Pandora and Epimetheus both were afraid. Now Pandora asked Epimetheus whether to open the box or not. He replied that you can't do any more mischief that you had done. Pandora shut her eyes and opened the lid of the box again. A single shining spirit like butterfly came out of the box. It was hope. Epimetheus and Pandora cried noisily with relief as the shining spirits like butterfly fluttered against their skin and soothed their stinging wounds. Then she went out of the window into the world after the evils. Luckily, hope stayed with us ever since. From the day we have hope with us. So students, the moral of Pandora's box is that unchecked curiosity and disobedience can be dangerous but hope remains in life forever and ever. Pandora's Box Section 1 when the world was first created, it was a happy place of light and laughter. There was no such thing as sadness or pain. The sun shone every day and the goods came down from heaven to walk and talk with the humans who lived on the earth. One afternoon, a man called Epimetheus and his wife Pandora were outside. 
tending to their flower garden. When they saw the god Mercury approaching, he was bowed down by a dark wooden chest that he was carrying on his shoulder, and he looked hot and tired. Pandora rushed to get the worn out god a cool drink while Epimetheus helped him lower the chest onto the ground. It was tied with golden cords. My friends, would you do me a great favor? sighed Mercury. It is so hot today and the box is very heavy. May I leave it here while I go on an errand? Of course, you can, smiled Epimetheus. Epimetheus and the god heaved the chest indoors. Section 2 Then Mercury said, No one under any circumstances must open the box. Don't worry, laughed Epimetheus and Pandora. And they waved the god off through the trees. At once, Pandora realized she had done a terrible thing. The box had been crammed with all the evils in the world. Thousands of tiny, brown, moth-like creatures that stung people with their wings and caused pain and misery wherever they went. Now, because of Pandora, the evils were free. They flew up out of the chest in a great swarm and fluttered all over Pandora's skin. For the very first time, Pandora felt pain and regret. She began to wail with despair, but all too late. She slammed the lid back down onto the chest. Section 4 Outside, Epimetheus heard his wife's cries and came running as fast as he could. The little creature fluttered to sting and bite him. Before speeding off through the window, into the world beyond. For the first time ever, Epimetheus began to shout at his wife in anger. Pandora yelled back and the couple realized in horror that they were arguing. Let me out, interrupted a high voice. Pandora and Epimetheus grabbed onto each other in panic. The voice was coming from the chest. Don't be afraid of me. Let me out and I can help you, came the voice. What do you think? Pandora whispered to Epimetheus, wide-eyed. Surely you can't do any more mischief than you already have done. He grumbled. So Pandora shut her eyes and opened Mercury's chest for a second time. Out of the deep, dark chest fluttered a single shiny spirit like a butterfly. It was hope. Pandora and Epimetheus sobbed with relief as she fluttered against their skin and soothed their stinging wounds. Then she was gone, darting out of the window and into the world after the evils. Luckily, hope has stayed with us 
ever since. This is a Greek myth. Thank you. All of a sudden, Pandora stopped, still and frowned. Listen, Epimetheus. She hissed. I am sure I heard someone whispering our names. Epimetheus and Pandora listened hard. At first, they heard nothing. Then they heard the distant sound of Epimetheus Pandora being called from outside. It's our friends, cried Epimetheus happily. But Pandora looked puzzled and shook her head. No, Epimetheus, those aren't the voices I heard, she said firmly. Come on now, let's go and see everyone. Epimetheus shrugged and strode outside. As soon as he was gone, Pandora hurried over to the strange chest and waited. After only a few seconds, she heard it again. Distant voices calling, Pandora, Pandora. The voices were so low and whispery that Pandora wasn't sure whether she was really hearing them or was just imagining it. She bent down closer and put her ear to the lid. No. This time she was sure. The chest was calling to her. Pandora, the voices pleaded. Let us out. Pandora, we are trapped here in the darkness. Please help us to escape. Section 3 Pandora jumped back with a start. Mercury had expressly forbidden them or anyone else to open the chest. The voices sounded very sad and pitiful. Pandora, they came again. Help us, we beg you. Pandora could stand it no longer. Hurriedly, she knelt down and worked at the tight golden knots. All the time, the whispering and pleading voices filled her ears. At last, the knots were undone and the gleaming cords fell away. She took a deep breath and opened the lid. <laughs>